All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Xmorph Defense. So I hope I am prepared. I've got the antimatter bomb, so hopefully we can use buildings to block off paths uh, here. At least that's the uh, that's the ideal. I don't know. Our landing site is located in the center of a major human population hub. However, it would seem that humans are engaging in more resistance. Than our initial analysis predicted. We must establish a strong presence in this region and stifle any opposition. Additionally, we will connect to the energy infrastructure in the heart of the continent that the humans call Europe. This will increase our power even further. The Exmorph have landed in Berlin. They're trying to take control over all of Europe. We can't let this happen. After the failure in Great Britain, the British have placed the remainder of their air force under my command. I've already called in heavy bomber support, but it's going to take some time before it arrives. We have to react quickly. I'm sending in a large number of fast attack vehicles against the Exmorph Corps. Warning, a large number of enemy vehicles is quickly moving in on our location. Block their paths to gain more time to destroy them. Okay. So, no matter what, I can't get them to drive up onto the overpass. I assume I can't destroy the overpass either. Well. I mean... Oh right, if I hold control, it'll automatically uh I'm sorry, did I did I move him? I have no idea. Okay. This is fine. Oh. Didn't realize I'd mess this up. Okay. So now they're gonna have to come all the way past here. Well here's the other question. Would it just be better? if I did this. Let's sell these. No, it's not good. It's not gonna be better if I if I did this. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, there's... So what I was gonna do is maybe try and like ring them around here and like force these guys to go back up and around and... Ugh. This ain't pretty. Do I want this, though? Because part of it is, it'd be really cool if I could actually force the, uh, the highway path to go in a really stupid and inconvenient route. I think instead... I think instead it's just going to be wise for me to put a flamethrower tower, like, right here. Hopefully it can shoot up. Worst comes worst, we just restart the mission. Okay. Yeah, that'll that'll have to do. We have placed additional artillery defense towers for you. They are great at destroying groups of enemy units over long distances. Air support ready. We got your back. Over. Can you kill the one guy that's shooting me in the butt? Doesn't look like it. Okay. That's unfortunate. Okay. No, that's not it. Q? That's bombs. That's the trick. Air support ready. We've got your back. Over. No, you don't. No, you very much don't. Okay, so these guys are kind of doing work. How's the flamethrower? It's mostly doing okay. I got a... I gotta get up and in this biz. Luckily, they're really not getting past the, uh... They're really not getting past the... Helicopters that well. Okay. Or, not the helicopters, the, the flame turret. 
Okay, they kind of are here. But now the now the flame turret's going the right way. Perfect. There's ah shit. Didn't realize some had gotten by. Okay. Let's fix them good. Let's grab some of the scrap before they all go away. Rapid response units have been destroyed. I'm sending in a tank assault force. Tank unit reporting. Active armor protection enabled. We'll get past enemy artillery. This is what these tanks were made for. Warning. Enemy tanks can block our artillery projectiles. Build more artillery towers to overwhelm them or destroy them yourself. I mean, this works pretty well. The X Morph destroyed our initial attack wave. Heavy attack units aren't ready for a counter strike yet, but the aliens haven't had time to build up their defenses either. Continue the attack with regular tank units and light vehicle support. Okay, so let's let's get some more flame towers. They kind of do horrible things to these guys. Kind of split their attentions. I don't know if it's a good idea to split their uh, attentions like that. But I mean, it almost seems like my my best strategy here is just to load up on towers on these building tops. And just go for quantity over direct quality. Uh, let's see. How many towers can I cram up here? How many dudes can I shoot? We'll see. This is probably a terrible idea, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. Air support ready. We've got your back. Over. Okay, so luckily we don't have to worry about air support now, because I am very good at destroying them. I wouldn't mind getting like one or two anti-air towers, just so I could stand kind of in the middle of them, in the midst of all these defenses, and just wreck them from afar. Okay. Let's see if this works. Rapid response units have been destroyed. I'm sending in a tank assault force. I mean, so far so good. Looks like half my towers in the back aren't Gunship's even getting anything. We've got plenty of fire. Okay. Oops. Holy shit. Note to self, do not get out of... Um, do not get out of ghost mode if I'm going to be directly above this. But yeah, it looks like this entire this entire dumb strategy panned out really well. God, I'd love a Command and Conquer style RTS just using, just reusing all of these assets. I have not played enough Command and Conquer type games recently. I guess there is what. Was it 8 bit armies? Okay, let's take these guys down. We're good. We're still good. Tanks are a little bit more concerning. But, I mean, there's only like one or two of them that actually managed to get by, and if I just shoot them right here, uh, we're golden. Oh, look at all that scrap. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the extreme bottleneck is the way to go here. I can see why artillery would be a good idea. Considering how tightly they're packed. They still fighting me? They left. Okay. Our well, it's fine. Are being massacred by the aliens. 
We're changing our tactics. We'll try to destroy their defenses. I'm calling in mobile artillery. Oh. Artillery ready to attack alien structures. Watch out for enemy artillery attacks. Basic towers do not have enough range to destroy artillery units. Defend them yourself or upgrade your basic tower to an artillery tower. All right, that's easy enough. Uh, should probably kill this guy before he destroys that tower. Okay. Warning. Hey, give me, give me scrap. Enemy artillery units is incoming. It is recommended to place artillery towers at the front to protect other towers. I mean, I'm not so sure about at the front. But, I'm done with artillery. Oh. If they come from there though, okay. Is he actually on top of the building? I kind of want to make sure he's on top of the building. Uh, if I put him right there, that should be good. And I'm gonna just sell this guy in favor of getting a second artillery tower, like, right here. Actually... I'm gonna move them there. That's a lot more coverage. There we go. Okay, so now they'll be able to hit the bridge. Uh, even if they won't necessarily have to. Okay, and then I'm actually going to switch this guy back to regular, and we're going to switch this guy to flame. Okay. Gunships attacking the alien. Even, like, one anti-air around here would probably be a good idea. Oh well. I am an anti-air. Artillery team ready to enter mission zone. A lot of dudes. A lot of a lot of money. Air support attacking aliens. Okay. So we do have artillery to worry about kind of. Yeah, I can always disengage the missiles if I want to. Okay, and it looks like my artillery are, are more than good enough for what I need here. Okay, perfect. I should remember these guys aren't as helpful because I took out some of the ones in the back and they're all flame related. Okay. Let's just let's just go with missiles. If I'm gonna be beset at all sides by flyers. I'm just going to uh, go with what works best in that scenario. I mean, it looks like we're golden. Just gotta make sure I don't get shot in the butt here. Oh, those projectiles have no maximum range. I have a maximum range, but enemy projectiles don't. It's unfortunate. Ah! Whoa, that was a lot of missiles. Those jeeps are punchy. The aliens have repelled our attack. I'm sending in more artillery with repair unit support. It seems like the artillery is kind of doing the trick for me. So, I think I might commit to it a little bit harder. Let's see, so this is just light jeeps. I mean, what I... No, 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 no. I want as many towers in this general area as possible. I 
Maybe one more artillery? Seeing as the- yeah, seeing as they're coming from here, actually. We kind of need that. Okay, so we'll sell him. In favor of- in favor of that. In fact, we can move this guy. We're gonna do the same, put them all on this deck. Cause yeah, they're- I didn't even notice it, but they're coming from this direction. It's a lot of artillery and not a whole lot of anything else. I mean, I think I'll be fine with what I got. The instead of mazing or doing anything ridiculous, I'm just going with concentrated firepower this time around. It looks like they're it looks like they're going down. Artillery is the way to go. And it looks like my towers kinda prioritize them. Air support, attacking aliens. Oh cool, I can shoot missiles out of the sky. But I can't shoot uh random enemy shots. That is unfortunate. Well, I'll just go ghost mode. I was like, I could block this and like fight back, but who gives a dang doodly? I'm I'm here for I'm here for as much money as possible. Are these guys shooting my towers? I don't know. I actually I don't know. We're doing fine though. Why does this work? Usually I go for like the crazy maze, but it, it looks like just bottlenecking everybody into one spot is just about as effective. Come back. Come back. I want your sweet, sweet scrap bits. The have reinforced their defenses with artillery towers, but we've got an answer to this. Bulldog tanks can withstand artillery fire and will pave a way to the alien core. If they can't break through, then we might have to sacrifice the city and call in the prototype Jaguar Type S tank. Warning. Very resilient enemy units incoming. Build up more defenses along their estimated path. Okay, I'm gonna move these guys down. I don't know if they're necessarily gonna make it here, but, uh, oh. I should probably have some towers in the back just to pick off the stragglers. Okay. I think I've gotten our artillery, to be totally honest. Super heavy bulldog tanks reporting on the battlefield. We'll break through alien fire and head straight for the core. So they're just built to withstand enemy hits. Makes sense. Ready. We've got your back. Over. They are beefy. They are very beefy. Well, that's okay. I get I can just easily sit here and shoot them. Oh, it's these guys. Yeah, we fought these guys before. Okay. I was like, doesn't look like it's a new type of unit. Just kind of a mild inconvenience. Still a healer in there. How is there... Oh, he's in the back. Air support. Engaging hostiles. I don't entirely know how uh, enemy priorities work. I probably could have actually... Uh, if I'm thinking about it, I could have actually charged the super bomb. Oh, small chance they could have messed things up, though. Well, let's try it. Okay. So that has a bit of a charge up time. Air support attacking aliens. Okay, I gotta pull off. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to keep shooting those guys, but we're gonna have to wait. Luckily, it has to go through the meat of our defenses, so those those bulldog tanks are actually less concerning than the uh, the initial wave. Oh, the ones up high might be a problem, though. I didn't even realize they were there. Uh, 
Which ones do I go for? These guys. Yeah, I probably need to get an anti-air just so I'm I'm free and clear to do whatever I want. So the Air Force is uh, actually a nuisance. I think we're we're doing okay. The bulldog tanks are definitely having a a bad time. They're making it past though. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna play cat and mouse because I don't have anything else I can do. I don't know what maximum bomb is. I'm gonna assume that's maximum bomb. That is a resilient overpass, mind you. Damn it. Even the super heavy bulldog tanks weren't able to destroy the Exmorph Corps. Fortunately, the reinforcements from Britain are finally here. We're going to squash the aliens with German tanks and blow them to hell with British bombers. Prepare our forces for a joint air and ground full frontal assault against the Exmorph Corps. going to attack us from multiple directions, from the air and on the ground. Use all available means of defense. Okay. Oh. I can fit another anti-air up in here. I'm not... I'm suddenly not sure if I need that, but... We... Uh... I have an idea. I hope it'll work. Okay. So we've got new guys spawning in. If there was a tall building, I'd, I'd uh, send them down in this direction, but it doesn't look like it's going to worth it. Okay, so uh, it, it doesn't look like it's going to work. Okay, we still have to deal with the bombers, though. That's going to get real expensive. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to take this guy. Move him. You need three anti-air towers to take out a bomber. Huh. Oh, I I'd, I'd clicked on the wrong guy, I guess. All of these spots are bombable. Except for that one. Okay, so we need... Oh. I guess I'll just put them right here. We need one... Tower... Back. Let's go with this one. Because, yeah, we probably don't have any more of the, the Ultra Heavies. No, we do have... We do have... 17 ultra heavies. Well, I'm just gonna have to deal, I think. I don't really know what else I can do. These guys are here. Yeah, no. Don't got much I can do. Bombers entering danger zone. En route to release payload on alien structures. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we can get some more. I wouldn't mind putting towers down. Uh-oh. Okay. So I made a mistake. We need another AA here. Badly. Ground forces are joining the mass attack on the x base. How are the bombers doing? The bombers are getting by, too. Okay, but that's the, uh... 
that's the end of the air here. And this time I am equipped for taking out bombers myself. Okay. Helps. So I don't know if we've got more air coming in. Oh, they took out a tower. Uh-oh. Air support, attacking aliens. Wait, that doesn't matter. Luckily, we don't lose anything, which is good. Holy crap, taking a lot of damage. Okay, yeah, so those those anti-air towers probably need to be repositioned or something. Yeah. Okay. Because... Sell those. Okay, those have been re-upgraded. Get some more artillery here. I think my own towers are actually destroying half of my buildings here. Which is a Air bit of a nuisance. Okay. Let's see if I can get a nice, easy line shot here. Yeah, I'll have to rethink my defenses, if only because um, my previous positioning is uh, busted. He is just tanking those shots. I mean, luckily we've only got the most basic enemies, but yeah. Uh, I think what I might do between waves is just uh, shell all of the buildings that I got my defenses on. Um, I don't actually know if I can... I don't actually know if I can put stuff there. Now that I'm thinking about it. This is rough. Yeah, I might have to figure out how to reroute some of these tanks. Because I don't, I don't do enough damage on my own. I mean, there's only two left. I can just take them out. Okay, got them both. Next set. Please die. We got missiles. How long until the bomb? Now until the bomb. I'm gonna put the bomb in the back. Considering guy in the front is uh, doing fine. Or, well, we're doing fine on killing him. bomb up in there. I don't know what the uh, maximum... There we go. Just barely got it. Ugh. Yeah, my to poor towers. We're okay, though. We are okay. This is a stressful game. Just that little bit of, like, do I have enough firepower myself to handle them? The answer is no. It's time to combat test our most powerful weapon. I'm calling in the prototype Jaguar Type S tank. The streets are too narrow, and we don't know if the bridges are going to support such weight. We haven't tested it in an environment like this before. Tough luck, soldier. This is war. There's no time for testing. Berlin endured tougher battles. If there is no road, then make one. Jaguar Type S reporting on the battlefield. The city has been evacuated. Urban safety directives have been called off. All weapons enabled. Collateral damage is acceptable. 
Targeting the Exmorph core. Loading the demolisher cannon. Fire! Attack missed. The next shot is gonna land right on target. Prepare the demolisher cannon for another attack. Destroy the tank's main cannon before it fires out. Okay. Well, that works. We need some time to get it operational again. We're moving to a different firing position. Alien defenses are very strong near their core. Let's stick to long-range attacks. This enemy is advanced, but we can destroy our targets. Place them in large numbers and rebuild them quickly after they are destroyed. Or concentrate on fighting the enemy machines by yourself. Preparing to launch heavy cruise missiles against the X Morph Core. Okay. Let's see if I can chuck a bomb right on this guy. Assuming as such. Okay, this might actually be one of those. No, the AoE from this is probably pretty good. Okay. Preparing to launch heavy cruise missiles against the X Morph Core. The Demolisher Cannon is preparing to fire. Only a few seconds before ready. Let's get these towers down. I wish it had given me time to sell my, uh... I wish it had given me time to sell shit. The aliens interrupted our firing sequence. Preparing the demolisher cannon to fire again. There we are. Oh, I took a lot of damage from that. Let's see if I can take out their, uh... They're like little drone things. Launching surface to surface heavy missiles at alien core. Oh. I can destroy these. I I have I have the technology. But yeah, I might have to do this last section alone. I Launching wish surface to surface heavy missiles at alien core. Okay. I have the technology, I just gotta be close. I mean, sure. I think we've got them on the last phase, though, so... Here's the thing, let's just get close. I don't actually care. Okay, let's get that bomb up and running. That bomb is helpful. Demolisher cannon damaged. We need some Got time it. to get it operational again. We're moving to a different firing position. Preparing to launch heavy cruise missiles against the Exmorph core. Okay. The EMP attack disabled some of the Exmorph's functions. Quickly, attack the alien fire. Oh, thank you. I have AA in the right spot by pure, sh pure chance. Launching surface to surface heavy missiles at alien core. Thank you. You jerk. No. I don't... I just want to build a couple of these. Okay. Ah, uh, base is under attack. Of course it is. <sighs> Terror destroyed. Of course it is. The cannon is preparing to fire. Only a few seconds before ready. Okay. Oh. There we go. We're good. Are you dead yet? Please tell me you're dead now. Okay. Well, I've got my towers in range. I really wish it had just given me an opportunity to put some towers down for this fight, because then I could put a, could have put some artillery in reasonable locations as opposed to kind of wasted my opportunity with this. Ow. That hurt a lot. I don't know what the uh, maximum time on that one is. Yeah, more AA would actually be really handy. Can't do though. Yeah, the main problem is I gotta sell all these suckers whenever I... Um... Wait, 
I'm gonna check the options. Maybe there's maybe there's a button for quick sell. Uh... Launching surface to surface heavy missiles at alien core. We need air support. We need it now. Target the X-Morph core. Fire when ready. Okay, don't need to care about these guys that much. Or the rest of those surface missiles. And luckily it's going over the meat of my defenses, but unfortunately he's not. Glad I got the uh, speed boost on this sucker. I guess what I should do is kind of place these in his... Ready to fire. Fire! Ah... Damn it. Launching surface to surface heavy missiles at alien core. You actually got a hit in. This is Laser hard. Destroy. It's gonna be harder to destroy the Exmorph Towers without it. But yeah, um what we actually want to do is place towers in his path, now that I'm thinking about it. Preparing to launch heavy cruise missiles against the next morph core. One of our anti-aircraft guns has been destroyed. Okay. That helps. Oh. Gotta remember the missiles. Luckily the missiles go right over some of my defenses, so it's a the little bit easier. Is preparing to fire. Only a few seconds before ready. No. I don't wanna. Let's see. I'd like to get more towers down, but I can't afford to. Or maybe I do. I don't know. I might need towers for this. I'm trying really hard here. Fire at the alien core. Got him. No, he got it. Shit. Trying so hard. Disabled some of the X Morphs functions. Quickly attack the alien fighter. Demolish her cannon, destroy. We've got no choice. We have to ram the alien core. Switch the engines into overdrive. Okay. I'm aware towers are gonna get destroyed here. I'm trying to just hit anything. I mean, I think I'm getting it. He's got so much HP. The aliens have seriously damaged the main turret. The ammunition locker is burning. It's gonna blow. One of the there we go. Has been damaged and is overheating. We have to slow down. Both engines damaged. They're red hot. We have to slow down even further. Ah, uh, this game is hard. We suffered defeat. The aliens destroyed the Jaguar tank. We don't have any more capable units in Germany. However, it looks like the Jaguar Type S has seriously threatened the aliens. We'll analyze this battle and create new war machines that will finally defeat them. The Russians and Japanese have already made some progress in that regard. Another gigantic enemy war machine destroyed. They demolished their sick more than we did. Now we can connect to their energy installations and power up our cores. This will allow us to increase the number of our consciousnesses in our structure. I really hope I get some new tech, but I don't think I'm going to, so we got good, good, great, and perfect. Or good, great, great, and perfect. We get a silver. I've been getting silver regardless, but oof. Wow. 
Stress. Okay, we're only like... I mean, I think that's kind of the halfway point. So we've got Australia and Russia. Well, let's see. So I got two techs. So EMP or laser. Groups of enemy ground units. Laser actually will be helpful against the, uh, the little slow... The slow little guys. Um... There's also laser towers, yeah, so these will these will be good against uh, tanks. I think I'd probably just go laser on me. Now does that actually kill tanks too? It does. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Uh, either way, what do we? What can we get rid of? I mean, I guess we could get rid of the charged plasma shot. At this point, I'm not really using it that much. Cause yeah, I want to get. I want to get this, and it'd be cool to get the anti-air missile tower. And then there's the anti-air laser tower. But yeah, I don't have enough juice for that anyway. I don't know. We'll find out on the uh, next episode of X-Morph Defense. I'll see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.